This one tools enables so much functionality that it is just mind blowing. Let me show you FCF. It's a tool that I love to use that makes finding things so much faster in Kali Linux. And it is an absolute game changer for those ethical hackers and penetration testers. You really need to know this tool. What is FCF? FCF is a command line fuzzy finder and it lets you search through files, directories, command history, or even process outputs in real time. For those ethical hackers, that means saving time looking through the correct word list or scanning through directories, looking for something in particular, or maybe finding the right fuff scan from your command history. All in all, it's such a great tool for penetration testing. How do you install FCF? Well, getting FCF is pretty easy. Let me show you. If you're on Kali Linux, simply type the command sudo apt install FCF. And you can see here, I have it already installed on my machine and it is the latest version. Next, you want to set up your shell integration. So you want to go to your shells configuration file and I'm using Z shell for this. So for ZSH, I want to go to my ZSHRC file and I want to add in this line here from GitHub for the ZSH. So I'm going to simply copy this and throw it into my ZSH file. And you can see here, I already have it in my ZSH file, but go ahead and save it and then exit out. Now from here, we can go ahead and source the ZSHRC file and doing that, it will start implementing the new changes to our ZSH shell integration. So we can go ahead and clear. So if we type FCF, we're looking through the directories we're in. From here, you can start typing in what you're looking for. In this case, maybe I'm looking for a uh, reverse shell. And in this case, we could use the arrow keys to start looking through that. But here are two reverse shells from the home directory that we're getting. One is in the pen test monkey folder. The other is in the perm X for the hack the box. So I can simply hit enter and that's going to print out where that file is located. Now that's pretty cool. Now this is where the fun starts. Not only can we use FCF, but we could also use FCF with a preview flag. And that shows us the preview of the file while we're searching. And in this case, if we CD into root, so we could start doing the fuzzy finding through there, we could do FZF and we'll use the preview flag with cat and the squiggly lines. Now the cat command simply prints out the contents of the file. And then the squiggly lines is basically adds the name of the file that FCF is searching for to the cat command. So maybe we're looking through something for sec lists and we could do common credentials. Here's common admin base 64. And there we go. It shows us what is in the contents of that file in the preview with the cat command. Super cool. From there, we could do another thing. We could also, let's say, hit enter for that. And we can copy this file where this file is. And we can cat paste it in and actually use the fuzzy finding tool to actually look through this particular file as well. So let's say we're looking through for an admin user. And there we go. We got that. Isn't that awesome? Now let's uh, spice the preview up with a little bit of splash of color by using back cat instead of cat and adding some color. We could do FCF preview and instead of cat here, we'll do back cat and then we'll add in the color always flag followed by the squiggly line for whatever the file FCF finds us. So let's go ahead and run that. And now maybe we're looking for like a PHP reverse shell. And here we go. We're getting a bunch of PHP reverse shells and let's take a look. And there it is. Backcat shows up, shows us our lines and even our colors. Isn't that awesome? All right. Something else that I like using this for is remember when you have a command, maybe it's like a buff scan that you ran before, but instead of scrolling up and down in your commands to look for it, 
let's do a history FCF and let's take a look at all the commands that we have found. Isn't that awesome? Maybe it was a fuff scan that we were looking for. And here we go, we're getting a bunch of different fuff scans from our history. Or maybe it was a curl command we were looking for. Take a look at all that. That is awesome. Now by default, FCF has it actually bound to control R. So at any time you can simply control R and take a look at your history and see if you wanted to look for curl commands or fuffs commands or go buster commands. You can do a number of different searches through your history with FCF. That is awesome. All right, another cool thing we can do is use the default star star plus a tab, which launches the FZF for us. So let's say something is wrong with our Python host. Let's do a Python 3M HTTP server and host it. And I'm going to open up a new window. Let's say something's wrong with that host or it's not responding and we need to kill it. So we can kill and we could do star star plus the tab and that launches FCF for us. And from here, we can now start using the fuzzy finder through the kill command, which that's super cool. So let's say we're looking for that Python 3 M HTTP server. And there it is the first one on the block. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter and that throws our ID number in the kill command. So I can simply hit enter and kill that HTTP server. Super cool, super useful. Or maybe we need to CD into something and we just don't remember. So let's do this. We'll do a CD and then we'll do home followed by the two stars and a tab and that launches FCF in there. So Let's say we're looking for hack the box or we're looking for dpix because I did download dpix for the last video I did. And there we go. So we got the actual file for that and I can hit enter and now I'm in that directory. So super cool. And there we go. I can LS. Another awesome thing is maybe you're a visual person and you don't like doing LS, LA constantly. Well, I bound Alt C and I actually added an alias to my Alt C using FCF and I have it where I can actually showcase the contents of the folders in a tree. Super cool, super useful. So here we go. I'm in the DPX folder and I can start looking through and just quickly scanning what contents are in each folder. And I could also CD back into home or maybe I want to CD into the hack the box and hit alt C for that alias again. And there we go. I can start looking through the contents, having that preview in a tree format. And that is just super awesome. That's super helpful, really does speed up workflow that way. Now, last but not least, we could really streamline FCF with some type of editor. In this case, we could use Nano, Vim, NeoVim, so forth and so on. So let's go ahead and try that now. We'll do Nano dollar sign, and then we'll run the exact same command with Backcat, with always uh, for color and the squiggly lines. And we can go ahead and hit enter and take a look at this. Now, if I were to hit enter on this particular word list, this rock you trimmed dot text, Typically without nano, it's just going to print out the Academy broken authentication, the path of where that file is. But since we're using an editor, when we hit enter, we can go ahead and actually open it up in nano. And from there we can go in and make some changes, maybe add something or uh, delete something. So I'm going to control X to exit out of that. Now to really streamline this command, I actually put this to an alias. For my command, it is control T. So if I simply hit control T on my keyboard and start searching for whatever file that I want to make an edit to, in this case, if it's the PHP reverse shell that we often use, 
I can go ahead and hit enter and it opens it up in nano. And from there, I can go in and change the IP address if I need to, or maybe the port number, and then I can save it and exit out. Now, another cool thing I did is in my alias, it actually throws me back into FCF. In this case, maybe I made a mistake and I picked the wrong file and go in and check another file, maybe index.php file, or maybe it's a shell.php file. So I can really coolly navigate through these files and make changes that I need to exit out of it. And when I need to, I can just escape out of that whole FCF command. So these are just a few cool ways to use FCF that I found for pen testing. You can really do a lot more with FCF. It's just an awesome tool all the way around. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about penetration testing, Kali Linux, or anything hacking related, then hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.